The current medical situation that we're going through has been without a doubt unprecedented. While Elon Musk has been skeptical about shelter-in-place regulations, he still had had his own ways of combating our current situation. I'm sure many of you have heard of the Tesla ventilator, which was built solely out of car parts. Now, an extra supply of ventilators is fantastic for the human society, but Tesla has been preparing a far more revolutionary device that will actually be able to print vaccines. In this video, I'm going to be talking to you guys about Tesla's plan to print vaccines. Welcome to Cascades Academy. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing for more content like this and let's get right into it. While we can't see DNA with our naked eyes, we have trillions of DNA strands that compose our body's structure and movements. In order for our body to adapt to the constantly changing environment, our DNA goes through what is called transcription, a process that stimulates the creation of ribonucleic acid, also known as RNA. This RNA is then used to build proteins that function our body. So, why is this all important to Tesla's mission to print vaccines? Typically, when we receive a vaccine, that vaccine is made out of inactivated organisms, also known as antigens. These antigens mimic the disease that the vaccine is built to protect you from, but unlike the actual disease, antigens don't harm your body. However, your body doesn't know this and creates the antibodies to fight against the disease. Because those antibodies are now in your body, this creates immunity in the short term. On the other hand, RNA vaccines have a very different way of giving you immunity. Instead of inserting antigens, RNA vaccines insert actual RNA. This RNA is then picked up by the immune system and used to create the antibodies needed to protect you from a sickness. The end result is the exact same thing with a totally different approach. When developing a normal vaccine, researchers attempt to weaken the virus or bacteria in order to produce an antigen. On the contrary, when developing an RNA vaccine, researchers have to treat the RNA like a software problem. RNA is made out of four different bases, adenosine, guanine, cytosine, and uracil, better known as the letters A, G, C, and U. As some of you may know, when three of these letters are combined, the RNA creates what is known as amino acids. These amino acids are then connected to each other to make a chain, which in the biotech world is known as a polypeptide chain. When more of these chains are created, they are then used to build what all life centers around, proteins. This is truly a very exciting concept that displays the complexity of our bodies. The computer you're watching this video on has hundreds of thousands of code that allows you to do your everyday tasks. Now imagine trillions of that code inside your body, constantly building and destroying proteins, but instead of a coding program, it's all based around four letters. The goal of the researcher would therefore be to arrange the letters in a way that produces the antibody needed to give immunity. It's almost like a game where in order to win, you have to solve the missing combination of letters, and to do that, you have to constantly try new combinations to get to the end goal. Elon Musk has found this to be a fascinating way of solving the problem, as he stated this on Twitter. In principle, I think synthetic RNA and DNA has amazing potential. This basically makes the solution to many diseases a software problem. Now RNA vaccines have gained some traction over the past few years, but have never really become mainstream. This is where Tesla comes into play. As of today, RNA vaccines are great. They're faster, cheaper, and safer for patients. However, they aren't good enough, at least not yet. In order to make an alternative appealing to the consumer, that product must be two or even three times better than the original product. RNA vaccines could be 10% better than normal vaccines, but that wouldn't accelerate the transition at a fast pace. The goal of an RNA factory is to transcribe DNA to RNA, but the way that current factories do this is extremely inefficient. For example, one mind-boggling inefficiency with RNA factories is the fact that every time DNA is transcribed to RNA in a template, that template is thrown away. What? Additionally, RNA factories are so huge that manufacturers can barely store any factories in a single building. Tesla looks to disrupt this sector by using what is called a Tesla microfactory. Back in June of 2018, Tesla filed a patent on its new microfactory, but it didn't get much attention from the media. Essentially, what the device does is take all of the typical functions in an RNA factory and shrink it to a smaller size. This includes turning up the temperature, stimulating transcription of the DNA, transporting the RNA from one place to another, and even filtering out the waste to give you a simple cleanup at the end. 
This design saves time, space, equipment, and personnel, which in the sector of RNA factories are all extremely important. In the beginning of September, Elon made a visit to Germany to reveal Tesla's progress with its microfactory. This microfactory will be sold to a company named CureVac. CureVac is currently working on a potential vaccine to combat the pandemic we're going through right now. Of course, given the demanding rules of YouTube, I can't mention what sickness that is, but I'm sure you all know anyways. Conducted in Germany and Belgium, CureVac has already received approval of its phase 1 clinical trial for its vaccine. In this trial, 168 healthy adults will participate, and in the following trials, the sample size will increase substantially. If this vaccine proves to be successful, Tesla will be able to accelerate the production of RNA by producing vaccines on a larger scale. Doing this ensures that the vaccine will be cheap and effective. In addition to CureVac, Elon is open to other biotech firms who have RNA vaccines in development. Two other companies are leading the development of an RNA vaccine, including Moderna, which entered Phase 3 studies, and Pfizer, which recently announced positive results from its Phase 1 trial. While Tesla's microfactory will certainly be helpful given our current situation, Elon sees potential in using the factory for decades to come. On August 30th, 2020, Elon stated that conversations with Harvard Epidemiology confirms that a high-speed RNA printer has potential to be helpful for vaccines and cures in many areas. The fact that Tesla already patented the microfactory long before the devastating pandemic truly shows that Tesla is in the business for the long run. Let me know what you think about Tesla's entrance into microfactories. Do you think that Elon should remain focused on Tesla's goal to accelerate the world to sustainable energies? Or do you believe that Tesla's entrance into RNA microfactories is justified during this health crisis? If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.